Michelle of Michelle's Cozy Kitchen and uh, today I'm doing another live for you guys so all those who are here welcome I today I'm going to be making carrot cake it is super moist and delicious so I'm making my famous carrot cake and uh, let's just jump into the recipe it's simple ingredients you have carrots eggs sugar cooking oil baking soda baking powder flour and i think that's about and of course um some milk which is it's going to be buttermilk this time so guys hi connie how are you doing so yes so i'll be making my carrot cake so let's just jump into the recipe right now okay so first I am going to do the um, dry ingredients I'm going to get the dry ingredients together and this includes it's going to be one and two quarts cup one and two quarts cup of flour now when you have flour and you're measuring flour you all you put it in your measuring cup this is one cup and you're going to take a knife and you're going to just scale it across you're scaling it across like this so that you ensure that there is just one cup and it's not more than one cup so i'm going to just throw this amount back into the bag so this is one cup and we need two quarts so here I have a quart measuring cup and I am basically going to do the same thing I'm going to remove the extra by using the knife and this is the straight edge of the knife Now, if you guys remembered, I did um, my carrot punch last week. And so, I just thought that it would be good to continue in the carrot theme. Because carrots are very healthy. So, this is two quarts. And then, let me just say something. You would preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, at the start of your preparation. So I have here one and two quarts cups of flour. Now I am going to add some baking soda. And it's just going to be a half teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Then I'm going to add some baking powder. And this is going to be one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and these are the ingredients that would make it rise, make it fluffy and nice. So it's one and a half cups baking powder. So that's in there. And I'm just going to get a pinch of salt. Not a lot. It could be maybe about a quarter teaspoon. Not, not, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add that. And in addition to that, I'm going to add the spices. And the spices include nutmegs and cinnamon powder. Okay, you can add maybe about one teaspoon of each. Then I'm going to take my whisk and, yep, just mix all of the dry ingredients together. And there you have it this is the drying these are the this is the combination of all the well except the sugar of course but yeah 
okay so I'm going to just rest this aside and now I'm going to deal with the wet ingredients I'm just going to clean just a second so here's my mixing bowl and let me just say hello to those who are online right now uh, Sandy Angelique Yvonne Rashad hey guys how are you guys doing thanks for joining and now I'm going to deal with the wet ingredients and this would include the cooking oil So for this recipe, it calls for a half a cup of cooking oil. So and here we have it, half cup of cooking oil. as well as a half cup of buttermilk to which I'm going to add two eggs Now, it's best that you crack your eggs in a separate container just in case one of them is not like it's spoiled. But you can test that by smelling it first and then you'll know whether or not it is um, good. So that is something that you can do. And now I am going to add also some sugar and the amount of sugar is one and a half cup of sugar I am going to use some brown sugar now I could use uh, I'm going to use one cup of brown sugar and um, the other in white sugar Now, it calls for one and a half cups, but you can use one and a quarter cups because, you know, if you don't like it too sweet, then you can just control that, the amount of sugar that you, you put in there. Okay, so this is good. Now, I am going to blend all of those ingredients together. And let me just add a dash of vanilla essence because the essence is used to cut the rawness in the eggs so you know yeah it's great to add it when you're, you're doing anything baking that is with eggs so. here I have the wet ingredients And there you have it that's the wet ingredients now I am going to add the dry ingredients to the wet and this is going to be done like a bit at a time not all of it at once you can mix it with your whisk or you can do it with a hand mixer or if you have a stand mixer you can do it in that as well 
and guys I am sure you know that carrots are very healthy they contain a lot of vitamins like vitamin K vitamin B vitamin C they are good for the eyes you can eat them cooked or you can eat them raw basically it tastes good either which way so I'm just adding the rest of the flour oops now guys this is very simple to make all you have to do is make sure that you just prepare the ingredients ahead of time you know before you start baking you just put them out and then everything else would be quite simple now uh, to this mixture I am going to add the carrots and here I have some carrots already grated you just you can grate it on the smallest um, section of the of your grater you don't want them too big you just want it to be you know like this small okay small pieces so I am going to put in about so I'm gonna measure it out I can probably do a cup and a half, but I'm gonna see how much. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then you just whisk this in. Wow, nice. Let me just mix it a bit with the hand mixer. Now, this is ready to pour into the baking pan, but I'm going to show you how we how I do my how I grease. You have to grease it first. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this is the baking pan I'm using. And then I'm just going to take some butter you can also I'm just going to take some butter and wipe it around like all over on the bottom up the sides because you want to put it everywhere that you think the cake would um, rise because if you don't then it's going to be sticking to the bottom of the pan and you don't want that or it's going to be stuck in the pan and you it will be difficult to get out so once I have put the butter like wipe the bottom in I am going to put some flour so 
so this is it just put in a bit of flour and then you're going to tap it around like this right yep and then what you do the extra flour the excess flour you will take it and you will tap it out because you don't want all of that flour so I'm just tapping it out okay now we can add or we can pour the batter in okay so I get myself a spatula and I am going to pour the batter in And that's it. Simple, easy, breezy, super moist, fluffy, delicious carrot cake. So. Now, This is going to go into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. And remember I preheated my oven before so it is already up to temperature. You're going to bake it at 350 degrees. So let me just because someone is asking. I'm going to post the ingredients after and also you can visit my YouTube channel Michelle's Cozy Kitchen and I would um, post it there as well and you would find the um, the uh, ingredients recipe basically in the description okay so that will be done so now I'm going to place this into the oven and have it bake for third 25 to 30 minutes. And how you know it's done, you would insert like a toothpick into the center of it. And once the toothpick comes out clean, then um, once, okay, how about this? Turn it around. Okay, I'm back. Now you can see me. So, I just placed the cake into the oven. Now, how you know that the cake is done is when you insert a toothpick in the middle of it and it comes out clean. Clean means that there would not be any of the cake batter on the toothpick. Or you could, if you don't have toothpick, you can use whatever is handy around the house, like a knife, for example. I mean, you have to use what you have. So, you can use a knife. And just insert it in the center or anywhere on the cake and once it comes out clean then you'll know that the cake is done okay so I am not going to let you wait for 30 minutes until the cake is done so I already have one prepared and here you go let me just show it to you So here it is and this is the um, carrot cake let me try to give a close-up yeah this is it guys super moist super delicious carrot cake now I am going to cut into it Okay, here we go. Now, 
Uh, you can also put frosting, like a cream cheese frosting, on top of this if you like that. But, you know, you can eat it just, just like this as well. So, here we go. Look at it, guys. Here it is. And I am going to taste it. See? It's super moist. So, yes, it's soft, it's moist, and it tastes delicious. So, guys, you can give it a try. As I said, if you like um, cream cheese frosting, you just mix it with um, like a stick of butter, as well as powdered sugar, a little bit of essence, or just some sort of liquid, and some cream cheese, of course. And then you just add it on the top. You put it on the top of the cake. And you can eat it like that. So. There you have it, guys. Carrot cake. At its best. So you can try it out when you have a chance. It's quick, easy, simple ingredients that you can do at any time okay yes so guys thanks for joining thanks for viewing and all of you oh hi Pete how are you so and hi everybody else who I already shout out to thank you for joining me on this live and don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. It is Michelle's Cozy Kitchen. And it's on YouTube. And it's free to subscribe. So please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. There's a link in the description on the YouTube channel to just, you know, click and you subscribe. And also, I have put a link on my Facebook but you can also, I guess you have maybe have to copy it. Just put it into um, YouTube and just subscribe to my channel. So thanks for viewing. All you guys who came, all viewed. And, oh, somebody asked what is the, what is again? Okay, is, do you mean the channel's name? Connie, do you mean the channel's name? The channel's name is um, Michelle's Cozy Kitchen. It's on YouTube. It's free to subscribe. Hi, Burvis. How are you doing? So it's free to subscribe. So please just subscribe, like, comment, share. Yes. So yes, it's Michelle's Cozy Kitchen. I can send you a link. But if you click on any of the videos on Facebook, basically you can link over to the YouTube channel so yeah so thanks for viewing all who came and don't forget to try it out and let me know how it turned out for you so that's it for now until next time uh, I'm out <laughs>